Hey, what's going on? Just wanted to drop this quick video for someone who may need encouragement and waiting for something. And I may show you why you have not received something that you're that you maybe have been expecting, maybe something that you prayed for, whether it's finances, a new job, new house, new car. There may be some things that you wanted, requested, maybe prayed for, but you have not received. And I'm going to help shed some light on why you may not have received this particular thing. Um, just bear with me. And I will explain to you, listen very carefully because it's very important. I believe that the reason that you may not have received what it is that you've been expecting or wanting or asking for is because of a lack of belief. I truly believe that believing is the way to receive what it is that you are expecting. If you are a, an expecting person, if you believe that you ask for things, if you believe that you can pray for things or expect them, or even work hard for them. The reason that you may not have attained those things yet because you have not believed. I truly believe that in life, if there's something that you truly want and you truly believe with all your heart. I don't mean just asking for something and believing that it's possible and waiting around for it to happen, but wholeheartedly believing every single day and contemplating on this vision on a daily basis and waiting for this thing to come. Because imagine, we all pray, we all ask God for things in the past and we all, all are expecting things, but imagine God were to give us everything that we ask for within a day or a week. Imagine how that would have, may have destroyed our lives. Our lives may have been destroyed because of the things that we ask for. Some of the immature things that we've asked for, the irresponsible things that we've asked for in the past, imagine we've gotten those things. So, there's always a time period between the asking and the receiving. But God, I believe, wants to see how bad you want this particular thing because he knows what it is that we want because there's some things that we may request. Oh, I'll pray for this car. I want this car. After a year, you don't even want it anymore. So, you, so it wasn't a true want. So in order for us to receive the things that we want, we must show constant contemplation on that particular thing and expecting and believing and always having that thing on the forefront of our mind. Steve Harvey has said that he had wanted to become on television. He wanted to be on television. And he never stopped believing. He never stopped believing. Now you can't turn on your television and not see Steve Harvey. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was on TV. You know, I don't, I don't want nothing else, you know. But my father told me to just keep the faith, keep believing in that. So I just kept the faith about it, man. And I really I attribute that to a lot of faith my mother was a praying person. I believe in that wholeheartedly. That has a tremendous part to do with your success. I looked up and I was 39 years old and I was on TV, but it took 39 years to get there. And it was a lot of years when it didn't look like it was gonna happen, but it did. Oprah had said once in the beginning when she heard about the story, The Color Purple, there's nothing that she wanted more in this world than to be in that movie. There's nothing more that she wanted in the world than to be in that movie. She believed wholeheartedly over time as she got in the movie. And I have never wanted anything as badly, as hard, as much as the color purple. And nothing more than the color purple explains that to me. That is what, that's what made a believer out of me. Tyler Perry said that he had many shows in the beginning before Medea and he was going to shows, performing shows, paying for shows and no one would show up to the shows and people would just tell him to give up and he kept going and he said he would not stop believing. The only thing is if you're trying to get there, you cannot stop believing in any way. No matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody tells you, you have to know it beyond knowing it. He would not stop believing. He believed. The key to your receiving what you've been asking for is truly believing. You have to truly believe. You have to literally believe. The Bible says, if you ask for something in prayer, believe that you have received it and it shall be yours. Believe that you have already received it and it will be yours. In other words, if there's something that you want, begin to act as if you have already received it. Begin to carry yourself in every way, your attitude, the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you present yourself, and the type of person that you want to become, the things that you want to attain. Begin to act as, as if you have received it today. Begin to think about that particular thing. If you want a particular car, 
go out to the dealership, take the car for a test drive. It doesn't, co- it doesn't matter how, how much the car costs. If you want a particular house, go book a tour, go find a real estate agent, go look at that house, go let him take you around the house and, and look at the house. It doesn't matter if you don't have the money. It doesn't matter if you don't have good credit. Ask for the things that you want, truly believe in your heart and your soul that they are yours and then begin to proceed and take action and keep the vision on the forefront of your mind. Don't ever stop thinking about this thing. Write it down. Read it every single day. In the morning when you rise and at night before you go to bed. In fact, read it throughout the day. Read the things that you want. Keep it at the forefront of your mind. Never stop believing and I believe in my my soul wholeheartedly that you will attain these particular things. And I'm an example of that. The things that I wanted in this life, even the place that I'm living today, I believe wholeheartedly, I asked for it, and I believe wholeheartedly that I will receive it, and I'm here right now. So I wanted to share that with you. I want you to begin to apply the new word into your life, believe, 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 believe. In the Bible, there was a story, for those who are familiar, when there were some two blind people calling out to Christ, and he was asking them to heal him. They wanted to see Christ approached them and and he asked them, do you believe that I can do this for you? And they responded, yes, we do believe. Therefore, they regained their vision. They regained their sights. But he asked them, do you believe? Because he wasn't able to do anything unless they believed. So the key is in believing. If these things that you want, believe. The things that you've been praying for, believe. The new job that you've been praying for, accept it. It's already yours. Now begin to Present yourself in your current job as one who is about to go to a new job. It doesn't mean stop working. It doesn't mean stop start being lazy. It means have joy. It means do more now than, than what you're paid for and expect the new job to come. You have to believe. The key word is believe. Take that today. Apply that today. And I hope and I pray that you will begin to receive all the things that you've been asking for, wanted for, wishing for, and expecting. Peace.